time for the freak Nick T. ATL. <laughs> Everybody, parents ain't safe. Pastel, easy to see. You might see the first lady on there. You might see the vice president on there. <laughs> Welcome, 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 man, to the Set Your Lineup Podcast. I am Gino, aka DJ Ellen Boy, and we check it in with who? This your boy Clutch, aka Domino, and welcome to the Set Your Lineup Podcast. What's going on, everybody? This your boy Jay Will. Welcome to the Set Your Lineup Podcast. I'm glad to be back this week. Yo, 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 it's DSPN. Thanks for the short intro. Hey, what's up? What's up? This is unpredictable. I'm gonna say what they uh what they don't want you to know. And I'm not even gonna sound like Donnie Simpson from BET like Jay Will did earlier. Unpredictable pause. No diddy. <laughs> no, no diddy. No diddy. No diddy. I don't know about no diddy. Take that, take that, take that back. Yo, yo, how was y'all week, man? <laughs> take that, take that, no diddy. <laughs> how was y'all week, fellas? Man, it's been pretty good, man. It's been a good yeah. week, good week. Yeah, I've been off all, all, all week just sitting here chilling, waking up when I wanted to. Yeah, man, I'm jealous. It's been a good week, though. Just been chilling, working. I had, I had a, a pretty good week. I uh, I followed the end of the podcast last week, and I wrote some numbers down that uh, DSPN put out, and we were two for three. And two for three is a win to me. So uh shout out okay. to DSPN with the uh with the best best best. Two Appreciate for three. It, like, did you did, at the end somebody said, Hey, don't listen to that man. Did you play DSPN? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. So um I played them two different ways. Um and the way that I advise everyone to bet. Individually, if you got two teams, three teams, four teams, whatever you're going to do, bet them all individually because it's highly unlikely to go 0-4. I mean, it can't happen, but it's highly unlikely to go 0-4. And, and then if you feel real good about all of them, parlay them all together in a four-team parlay. So that'll give you a slip of five different bets, but you should at least profit or break even. That's the goal. For sure, for sure. Uh, unpredictable. I'm sure I know what you've been doing all day. You say you got up a little late all week, but I'm sure you got up early this morning to listen to the Beyonce uh, country album. It's, I'm sure that's what you've been jamming all day on <laughs> on the treadmill on the walk. It was hot garbage. <laughs> hot garbage. Hey, man. Hey, I, okay. They don't play like that, man. Man, you gonna get hey, us counsel by all the beehive. Hey, they don't. Hey, they don't play like that. I just seen a little midget five foot one play with everybody, and nobody touched him. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. No diddy. Yeah, right. no diddy. Yo, well, <laughs> it is uh, March Madness. It is March Madness, and we are uh, we gonna talk a little about uh, our. Final four picks. Reviewing our final four picks from last week. Uh certain gentleman was out last week, so we don't have his. Uh Jay Will. What you what you what you got in final four, brother? Man, I had uh Iowa State, I had UConn, uh North Carolina. We know how that go. I know y'all know what happened in North Carolina yes. being out there in, in Bama. But uh so it's kind of a good thing. To, um, two of my teams didn't make it, and I had Purdue being my final, my final four team making it. Okay, so so you had North Carolina, Purdue, Iowa State, Iowa State, and then uh, UConn. I think UConn going to repeat. Okay, what what happened with North Carolina, guys? Are they not in it? You, you say you had. 
I had them. I had them. I, I thought they was going to uh, prove me wrong, but uh, yeah, they end up losing to Bama. I, I see that. I see Sam got all the Alabama. I don't give so. a piss about nothing but the Tides, baby. I don't give a piss about <laughs> Blitz, Bama, Blitz, baby. Blitz, Bama, Blitz. Hey, stay <laughs> we in L.A., baby. Lord, Alabama. Lord, Alabama in Los Angeles, L.A., baby. Shout out to the Crimson Tide. <laughs> Shout out to the Crimson Tide. Give me something to do tomorrow. Give me something to do tomorrow. But, I mean, uh, I mean, North Carolina, I don't get what they would have did yesterday. They had Steph Kurt, I mean, Grant Nelson going crazy out there. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that, young, <laughs> that young fella hadn't did that since the, the beginning of the season, and then he had kind of. And but but the way Sears, the way Sears had had you know let that happen because a lot of a lot of fellas trying to get draft stock when they, when they on the big stage, and the way Sears let that go down, and 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 let him lead the team, that's that, that's that's major, that's major to me. Um, so we had uh. Trigger Man had UConn, Houston, Purdue over Arizona, and Arizona. So he 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 looking decent right now. Uh um, Gonz- he, Gun- he had Gonzaga, didn't he? Or Arizona. No, I, no, oh, he, he had Purdue playing Arizona. I got you. I got you. Yeah, got you. yeah, he had Purdue over, over Arizona. Mm-hmm. He's one out. I had Houston, Yukon, Zona, and Tennessee over Yukon. So uh Arizona. I I I don't mind that they're out. Uh because my team uh gets to play Clemson. So uh Clutch had Yukon, Houston, North Carolina, and Creighton, and Yukon over Houston. Uh DSPN, Illinois, uh North Carolina, Houston, Tennessee. He didn't have who over who. But he did have North Carolina as the champ, so I I'm, I don't know if DSP ain't gonna slide Illinois in that in that spot in the champ <laughs> spot. Do you believe well, he don't get no do over? <laughs> yeah, I ain't, gonna, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna take it back. I ain't gonna take it back. But hey, <laughs> Illinois play UConn Saturday. Hey, we, yeah, we, we, we got we gonna see. Coming. We got a clip coming because you said. Uh, <laughs> Junior, Junior, gonna 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 put UConn down. I, I'm I'm calling Illinois with the upset over UConn. Hey, so the upset, I lost all respect for North Carolina. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know who the center was for Alabama. I thought that was the uh the same little guy from uh, Hustle and Flow, the white DJ. That's who I thought it was at first. Hey, <laughs> who's this? What's his name? DJ Quails? I said, man, that's been DJ Quails get a double double. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the man from Hustle and Flow. I thought they were about to start saying whoop that trick at the free throw line. <laughs> man, you know, we put that picture together and put it in in a uh, group. Uh, follow our group on Facebook, Set Your Lineup Podcast. It well, is we'll on Facebook. It, yeah, it is on Facebook. <laughs> All of us are in there. The shows are in there. And um, just, you know, content content is posted in there. And uh, we have some, some new followers, people that uh, came from the show. So shout out to y'all. Man, I'm uh, gonna say this though, DJ. Oh, yeah. As much as I, I don't think nobody in the state of Alabama wanted Bama to lose more than me. I swear. But man, them boys, I never really watched them play this year. First of all, I don't put nothing with Alabama on my TV. They would never get no ratings at my house. Let me just say that for the record. But man, them boys didn't miss last night. They're like they was like they was the Warriors. They was out there shooting in a pond. Man, they were shooting like LeBron on PEDs, allegedly. <laughs> you know when it, when LeBron when LeBron hit that look down at the ball, then shoot it. Man, they didn't miss last night because I thought when North Carolina went up late, I said it's over. But I'm gonna say this: I thought I'd never say this. A Bama team had my ultimate respect last night because I said I don't see them nobody stopping them. But honestly, if they shooting like that, I just hope it don't. Good lord. Your your yeah, social your social media is go, yeah yeah yo he he's been through a, a social media viral sensation when he was the uh voted the the most handsome educator in the swag or something like that, uh yeah. Man, I almost stiff on you like Dion did. 
<laughs> but he 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 toying with uh LeBron fans and Beyonce fans. They gonna come see you, buddy. The behind uh, Beyonce and Bama fans. Your social media is gonna be lit when they get in the Yeah, group. shout out to Alabama. I posted it in the group. Follow follow the group, like I said, like amazing content in there. Posted in the group, they said Alabama fans were the most annoying fan base uh in college football. They did. We're gonna call yeah. them two combined the P E D hive. Hey, and just like real football, LSU finished a couple spots behind us. So oh damn. They can't even beat us in that. So we got Ed. Ed had uh, UNC, UConn, Gonzaga, Duke, and his uh, his outside kid that he didn't put in, but he mentioned a lot, Grand Canyon. Who said that? <laughs> you. No, I said for spring break, we're going to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, it, it's been taught uh, over the internet that Grand Canyon is not a real school. It's not a real place. It's it's not. It's a it's an online college. It's well, a where, so alleged online college. So like secret. What's the what's the other high school? Bishop Sycamore. So we got a college version of Bishop, Bishop Sycamore going on. Oh, you, know, on. you know, I don't know because you know Grand Canyon have been around for a little while now. Yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. Go, y'all, go look that up on TikTok. Type in Grand Canyon is not a real school. No they had a big it. gym and all these fans and everything. I'm like, what is it? We just played the first AI basketball team. That's what what I think happened. That's what I think mm. Bella did. Hey, mm. the Bama and who y'all play with all this virtual school. You know, I've I seen a whole lot of new Bama fans online for basketball. I, they just converted. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I told them stay over there because there was no Carolina fan last night. And then at midnight, they switched like like uh, Cinderella or something. No, stay I'm, talking about the, I'm talking about the Bama football fans because some of these fans, I know they cheer for Bama football. I don't know where they came from. That's why we don't like y'all. Y'all come out of nowhere. Then talking about we. No, I was born like that. I was born like that. But uh, we got uh, so Ed got UNC. They out. He got UConn, Gonzaga, and Duke. I got Duke. UConn to win it all. Okay, yeah, cause yeah, UConn won it all. Going back to back, like we said, hadn't been done since two thousand and seven by the Florida Gators. So we'll check back uh next week on that and see. Who's uh, who's living good? Speaking of living good, Caitlin Clark and the Big Three. What do y'all think about that? I right, I right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Clutch J D and unpredictable. You just say if you were uh, running her crew, or you were her manager, her dad, or whatever, should she play? Clutch should she play in the Big Three? Five million dollars. Yes. Jay Will, should she play? Yes, sir. Five mil. Yes. DSPN, should she play? I don't even think that's a question. Yes. uh, This one right here. I'm predictable. Should she play? (laughs) Hey, if they go pay, she should play. I'm going to leave it like that. Hey, coin that. We're going to put that on the t shirt. (laughs) <laughs> hey yo yeah that's that's yeah that's not like magic city go ahead uh listen i think she should play uh so y'all just saying this because five million involved that's about it that's, i mean well i'm saying it i'm saying it because it's been said that she may sit out her first year of wnba she may not even even play because she's not going to play for, you know, you know, 70, 76 to $97,000. She's not going to do it. I don't blame her. And then, she, and then if she me. doesn't do that, she sit hard. out, she, she get her five mil from, you know, the big three, you know, she good. Awesome. Cause I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. She, she's going to transcend the WNBA. Cause if she sits out of here, cause they go back to the little bargaining table in 2025 you know, to get, you know, private, I mean, get jets to the games and better, you know, better, you know, just better 
facilities, stuff like that. So when Kayla Clark comes in, the sky's the limit. She's going to set the mark for the highest paid player in the WNBA history. And she gonna and she gonna get a part of the, probably a part of the network proceeds, and she gonna she gonna change the game with the pay. Hey viewers, 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 just to know, I know there was a lot of confusion last week with people messaging and and inquiring, wanting to know. No, not last week. They were asking about the, the week before. They wanted to know why they didn't see clutch. Background on their their Zoom and like how could they have clear background? But that is a real background. If you just didn't, didn't see the sunset, <laughs> that is a real background. So don't yeah. message us anymore asking. Hey, it's a real background. He works for Janie King, and right now he's supposed to be sweeping floors, but he on on here live with us. <laughs> <laughs> Dedication, man. Hey, I ain't hey, recording the podcast on your, you your lunch break. You wow. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. Hey, you can't. Why you tell everybody, man? You can't that because he because he watched LeBron James movie House Party, and that was the setup. <laughs> he probably don't watch it twelve times already. Hey, I watched it at halftime. Hot garbage. But um, clutch. Uh, I don't care if they go back to the the um board six times, seven times to figure out pay and all that stuff. She might well go ahead and join the big three. That's her best choice. Nope. I don't Not care. Than that. I don't care Maybe. who the WNBA just ain't gonna bring no money. Nope. I, it, it, it's just Watkins, it's, Caitlin Clark, Andrew Reese, form your own big three. Because yeah, guess what? like uh we'll get it, it, watch it. it ain't gonna be they gonna beat somebody. You know, you don't have to beat every team that's a male or whatever, but you just gotta beat that one team to draw, and it's all about money. And to me. I don't think that, you know, a lot of times I see when NBA players kind of chime in and the ladies get upset, but something has to be done with the marketing. Uh, and, and I just think that, that that'll speak volumes for the ladies if they can go out there and play and just watch them compete. Because you got to realize, some of them players 50 years old, they ain't running that much. I put it like this. I put it like this. The NBA is successful because men watch the sport. It's a male-dominated sport. And you have some women that watch it. You got women referees. And you got women that want to be coaches and et cetera in a man's sport. NFL, it moves the needle. It's a man. It's a male-dominated sport with a male-dominated um, viewership. If the women ain't finna watch the WNBA, the needle ain't finna move. It's as simple as that. Well, we, well, we need males to watch it. But women, women do watch the NBA. A lot of women I know. A lot of them are Boston fans. I still ain't figured that one out yet. But <laughs> like my mom, my mom, like everybody know that grew up with me or whatever. Know my mom used to come home and watch the Lakers, and she liked the Knicks. I think. But she. That's why we and, all, you but, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, listen. But she, she like. <laughs> She <laughs> she was a huge Kobe fan, and and she but she watches she watches, but she said she would not watch a women basketball. She like she played women basketball. I think she could outshoot Joe now. I think she could outshoot Joe and Jay Will in the game of horse. I you know, and I'm seasoned. I'm I'm almost forty, but uh, but she said she would not watch women basketball. So I think a lot of women are not watching women basketball. They watch men, men's basketball. So, but the the hype on the college game is at an all time high. I don't see how it can't translate with the people that are will be going to the WNBA. I can I can tell you why. Um, wasn't it? What was, what was the college team that both of them won the championship? Was it UConn? Then you come yeah. boys and girls winning the same year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, why did that not translate? And 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 I'm I'm gonna agree with you because remember uh I had a uh favorite basketball player uh before um 
before. Hold on, miss, miss, was it uh, was it Edward Sims? No, no, no. It was Skylar, Skylar Diggins. Yeah, Skylar Diggins. She and, was Diggins. And her uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, but her popularity went down when she got to the WNBA. And she got pregnant. Yeah. And the league is uh blackballing her. Yeah, I cried when she got pregnant. But go ahead. Hey, let, me oh, uh, let me let me throw this at y'all. <laughs> and I thought about this as we were talking. Hey, I love the ladies because guess what? Hey, great job. I'm not uh discriminating. But I'm thinking about this, and this is just something that I just brainstormed. Let's take the swag football. Being a product of the swag. I can say that I wasn't too. I wasn't going to the games as much, and I was guilty of it. But then, when you had a personality, a coach like Dion that came in, it changed the whole culture of the SWAT. I don't know if you can find whether whether it be a male coach or a female coach. I look at Dawn Staley; she's doing a great job. Uh, the coach at LSU, she does a great job, and even some former players, you know, whether it be. To me, I would probably lean more to the NBA. Somebody would want to come see Allen Iverson coaching a WNBA team or uh, Tracy McGrady, just somebody who not, – not so much McGrady, but people with personalities because you don't have to just be famous. Because I look at uh, Eddie George is, is at, what, Tennessee State? He mm-hmm. played – everybody who watched him know how great he was, but he don't have – he doesn't have that brand behind him. But – Maybe look at maybe just getting those coaches because in college basketball, it's actually in college sports, period, it's more about the coach and not the players. And so the WNBA has the name of the players, but I don't think that they have those coaches. So, you know, I would probably look at something like that because they're going to come watch certain coaches uh, coach. And that's what I thought about with Dion with Colorado, four and eight, but everybody's still there. I I, I can tell you what they should have did. Taylor Swift should have went to the WNBA. She 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 should have headlined they show. It's the Rachel ratings. She should have headlined they show. They want they want ratings. Put Taylor Swift out there. Taylor Swift. You you said my boy look like the DJ from uh look like the DJ from Hustle and Flow. Taylor Swift out there with you. Oh, yeah. hey, man, hey but hey but hey leave the Swifties alone, man. Yeah, y'all, man, y'all can have them people all over y'all. Man. Man. <laughs> the Swifties. Uh, what I said, I said she should go to the WNBA. She should have did a show and play. No, not play. Oh, she oh. could have been in the. She could have been in the WNBA celebrity game. Yep, just could have been in the stand. She could have just been in the stand. Just tweeted, "Hey, I'm yes. going to the game." Yeah. Yep. See, but see, you know, the NBA and and, and the Big Three haven't been. They 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 haven't been mixing. They they mix can't get right. She but could, so she, do y'all think the NBA gonna try to try to slide in and and intervene between uh Caitlin Clark going to the B three? So the NBA had allegedly, the NBA allegedly has been trying to shut down the big three. Uh when Kobe was alive, RIP, uh Kobe was one of the first names that he wanted to come to the big three when he was making the announcement of it coming. The NBA heard the rumblings and it kind of wanted to shut it down a little bit because some of the veterans that were still able to play were going to go to the big three over just riding the bench in the league. You know what? That'd be a nice little topic for next week. I would love to see that battle, the NBA versus NWA. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, write it down next week. <laughs> next week we're gonna we're gonna do a big three. I'm gonna After have every, everybody gonna pick a big three, and we'll simulate um, who big three will will win. But everybody gonna pick a big three players from maybe thirty five to you know, not LeBron. But we'll figure it out. We're gonna have, and we're gonna let the people decide. Who uh who had the the best big three? Shout out to Kendra Lamar. But um yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got the in season tournament versus um what boys in the hood. We'll figure that one out some kind of way. But, but yo, I mean, ten games, ten eight eight to ten games. Yeah, I mean, we we talk about an NBA that loves low low management. Uh, 
instead of Ryan Pine or whatever your your last year. But see, the money, the money wouldn't be there like the NBA is. So, I mean, look, Ice Cube, he 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 took a hold of the hype train. Yeah. He knew Caitlin Clark ain't finna get paid in WNBA. He kind of don't want her to go through the struggles that they go through going overseas and things like that. But uh, Ice Cube might be tapping into a market that, shoot, mm-hmm. I might want to see. I, I know a lot of women love to say that they the best player. They feel they can beat a male. They yeah. feel all these things, you know. This is kind of that opportunity for them yeah. to show it because, because I will watch a three on three with Juju, Caitlin Clark, and um uh, Reese. I will watch them three go yes, against sir. and go against three players. Three men? Yeah. Yeah. Or mix and match. Come on, man. I, now, 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 listen, yeah, come on, man. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that they're going to win. I'm not saying they're going to win. He but, going after the women but fan I, but, you're but, but, <laughs> but, you're but I have, I know a lot of women that could argue and say that they would win. So, mm-hmm. Hey, I'm going to be honest. This is an honest show. This is an honest pod. I'm, I'm going to be pod honest. The drum line... Of the Jeff Davis Volunteers, we got beat one day by the the lady volunteers, the girls basketball team. John Line, the coach asked us to play them, and we and we got beat by girls. Those same girls won the state championship, the six A state championship that year of Alabama. But we we got beat by girls. Just running. They were running plays on us and everything. It was a nightmare, bro. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> I, I think I would. I don't think I would have told nobody that, but I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> they were running plays, bro. Like it, 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 they said, the screens on y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were running plays. But look, you like, um, you know how good you had to be to make the NBA. I mean, twelve player, the twelve player in the NBA. You are elite. You yeah, are elite. You're good. You're great. All, Unless you lost, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh the Nyako. Oh, well, uh but hey, didn't correct me if I'm wrong, didn't somebody play last year? A female oh. Why well, I keep on thinking somebody played last year that was a uh, what a former WNBA player. Played in what in, in the big three? three? Yeah. No, I they mean might. some girl some girl had put out uh I guess it was WNBA woman. I don't want to call it girl. She put out cube this the first time this the first time you ever thought of this or uh, some some of that nature. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is the first this the first one that makes sense. No, I was Lisa Leslie play? <laughs> it was no. She didn't she play. She, coach, she played she it. Coach. She, oh she, she coached. Coach. Yeah. yeah. Um it makes sense for marketing for Ice Cube to do it now because then you have some after that could follow. But now she she it was a color thing. Let's just be real. Allegedly, it was a color thing. Is there some players that is that's better than Caitlin Clark that could have been chosen? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolute. I don't know about that one. Man, this is a few, but I'm as far as investment though. Either either or. Ooh. Either or. Can I say this? Now they might be one or two that's on the same level, but I would love to know who's in college that's better than her. Oh, Juju's gonna break all them records. But she's mm-hmm. not there yet. But she's going to break all them. If I if I if Juju and Caitlin Clark play one on one, I'm taking Juju. I agree. Cause she cause her I, game is Juju. her her game is all around. Yeah. She got inside. Yeah, she got inside. No she defense. can post. She don't know how to, she don't play good defense. At all. Don't play it, good defense. I, I watched her. I watched her in the what what that was West Virginia game. By yeah. by guard, she still had what thirty points. But mm-hmm. if she's getting smothered, she's through. Well, yep. and, and what do, what do you guys think gonna happen to her when she gets to the WNBA? You don't think everybody gonna put a chip on their shoulder? What I mean, do you no. think? 
What do you think? No. Nope. They, they, nope. They, nope. I'm gonna tell you why. It, it'll be it'll be stupid for business. Because Caitlin Clark is going to be their golden child. It's going to get people looking more at the WNBA, bringing more money into the WNBA. So why would you go hard at her, maybe give her a bad shot or a dirty shot and, and, and mess up somebody that could potentially get you more money? Oh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't talking about dirty, dirty shot. I'm saying they're going to have a chip on She's going to get everybody best. Like exactly. Bama. She's going to get 100%. Yeah, no like more. Like every time I play y'all in fantasy. No, no, <laughs> no, me like y'all play me, even in basketball. Shout out to KD, man. Even in basketball, people that hadn't hadn't set their lineup in weeks when it comes down to playing me, they want to give me their best shot. That's what Kaylin's gonna get. I and mean, but you, 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 you got to remember, she's going to a team that's not so great. Mm-hmm. So, 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 so she got to play the Los Angeles Aces and the um, uh, New York yeah. and New York. They finna, they finna ball her up, and let's not even forget when she take a trip up to Seattle, which I'm, I'm pretty sure, like I would rather see Jewel Lloyd as the person that she's is from Seattle. She's a better scorer than Caitlin Clark. So what, what, what you think? What y'all think they're gonna do to her in, 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 in the big three? Tell me, tell me. I think we, we, we getting a little, a little disrespectful with Caitlin Clark now. I mean, I think I think we're just riding the hype train. She belongs to the streets. I this. I I'm a LSU fan, and I'm a, I'm gonna have a real conversation. I do not want no parts of South Carolina at all. Now, with that being said, this team has lost South Carolina lost one game in two years, and that was the Caitlin Clark. We can't name other four people that play. There's no way you go tell me that somebody who's a now, I'm not saying uh, the young lady at USC, once she gets older and her body matures and her game develops more, that she's not going to be potentially a better player. Today, she's not. Oh. Caitlin Clark is, if you you could go Clark or Angel Reese, but she set the bar in college basketball. Juju mm-hmm. is arguably one or two, or whichever way you want to take it. She's hey. arguably one or two. You could take Juju one two or take Juju on that beat. She still ain't better than Clayton Clark today. <laughs> I'm saying today. That's oh, what they call him DSPN, y'all. Hey, today she's not better. No. I'm not saying she will. She won't pass her up eventually because I believe she will. But I'm trying to market tomorrow. I gotta take Caitlin. Right. We're we're talking about marketing. That that's my whole point. We're not talking about their skills. We're talking about marketing. And right. what is Caitlin Clark known for? She can shoot the ball from half court. She, she reminds me of a female uh, Jimmy for that. I think that's his name. She's and I put that up the other day. You know who she remind me of? Yeah. Larry Legend. Okay. Booster said that's the That's the <laughs> I, ain't try, I ain't trying to get canceled. I'm going to just go on. I'm going to move by that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think me and you was on the same page. We're going we're gonna to take each other after this. <laughs> sometimes, hey, it's one of those things. Sometimes you just got to hey. be like. Let me let me just let me just put it on hey, the record. Oh, oh, hold on. You 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 when 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 she play LSU, who you riding with now? Cause you you Oh, I'm riding with LSU, but I just don't want to see her. Oh, okay, cause you you, you like you on the saver, like you got your do right. No, 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 uh, I said she bad. She ain't got the better team. Oh, now we will beat like you gonna let your do right. I'm not worried about like, them as a as a collective. We ain't let me, one one. Let me put it on the record. Caitlin Clark is a phenomenal basketball player. She's phenomenal. She's great. But I'm just saying, for all around game, all around skill set, from Mm -hmm. inside to outside, from ball handling, Juju is top two. Hey, hold on, Clutch, you 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 a mental man? Do you think she's feeling the pressure? You think she's feeling any pressure to win the championship? Do you feel she's she's feeling any kind of pressure right now? Um, no, I don't think she's feeling any pressure because I mean, you know, she she's gonna be a, 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 a she's a millionaire already, so she's not she's not feeling any pressure. She got the, okay. she got the all time scoring record for men and women. I mean, she, she's submitted. 
she's she's submitted in the in the uh, college football, I mean college basketball world. Yeah, D D, what you think? Is she feeling pressure? Yeah, yeah. she's definitely feeling pressure. You before last year, did we ever see Kayla Clark go to a ref trying to get a call, trying to trying to get things her way? No. Did we see her going at the ref talking about? Why? How did you miss that? Are you blind and getting it, getting in their face? No. So she's feeling the pressure. She and knows she what she do that. She <laughs> she knows what she's about. He felt the pressure on getting the ring. He felt the pressure. Oh yeah. But he, uh, he never left Cleveland. Right. So it, it's gonna be hard if she wants to go down as the best player, arguably, in women's college basketball. Yeah. She's gonna she's gonna probably need a ring. She's not gonna get it. Hey, somebody, I, I, hate, I, I hope we're not going longer than we're supposed to. But I'm gonna say, when people say all this all around, it, it's, it, it's not really all around because we forget about you know, I guess it's the whole LeBron can't win championships, so we got to find some stuff he good, the three things he good at, and forget everything else, <laughs> right? Because they say points, rebounds, assists, they don't talk about free throws, they don't talk about steals. The man's 6'10". They don't talk about blocks. He got 0.6 blocks. So all around, you, you got to be able to play both sides of the ball. You got to have an impact. Right now, Juju is putting up numbers. I don't think she has an impact. When I'm saying with Caitlin Clark in the middle of Iowa, because we, we we know one thing. USC will always have ball players, right? No matter if they no, – regardless of the record, men's hey. open sports. L.A. is a hotbed for athletes. Don't Nobody worry about it. In Iowa. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. How long Caleb Clark been in college? Four years. When did you hear about him? Last year. All right, then. Juju is a what? Day one. What? Hey, I can say the same thing. Ju- Juju is a about, what? I heard about Peyton Manning in high school. I didn't hear hey, about hey, Peyton no, 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 no. Bring, bring, bring back your point you was trying to make. <laughs> you, you know what? You, I, I, you, I, I, you, you, I heard about Juju for one game. Hey, it don't matter. Uh, it don't matter. Hey, hey, get back. Look, tell me hey, if I'm wrong. Nigga, we don't hey, got no hey, talk. Everybody in America about Brian and how good he wasn't, and they trying to tell me he was. <laughs> hey, listen. That man have been America listen, issues in there. One, one oh, thing. I'm about to say, man. One thing. Like, right, bro, we ain't hearing all that. Hey, check, check, check. One thing we have is Sims on record, and I want to say the first name that came out his mouth was Juju. No, I said put them together. I didn't say yeah, that. I, I, yeah, I, I think. Hey, I, I'm, I'm going to say LeBron, Michael, and Kareem, but that don't that means that LeBron dead last. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kaylin. We're going to see We're gonna see this weekend. Shout out to Kaylin. Shout out to her dad. Uh, her dad has been called passionate, and she's arguing with the referee. She's been called passionate, but LeVar Ball should be called passionate as well. But, um, you know, shout out. Shout out to those them. Shout Can out I say to one thing before we go. Go ahead. I had to look it up. We do know uh, as a freshman, just because we didn't know, because women's basketball, this stuff that just happened, it just took off last year. We got to admit that part because nobody. I wasn't an avid fan up until last year. Caitlin Clark averaged twenty six point six her freshman year, so she's been doing this. Yeah, evidently for her to have the numbers she had, the, the, the career numbers, yeah. We assumed it, but it wasn't on a on a on a level. A but yeah, scale. During during the pandemic, when they went and and said they weren't getting this kind of treatment and this kind of treatment, and uh, the game has taken off since then. So shout out to them. Hey, one last. What what why we on college basketball? Do y'all think blue bloods are changing? Have we ever been through a a stage where blue bloods change? No, you, know you might get an upset if you look at who's left. You may get an upset in the first and second round, but the teams that's been left in the Sweet 16, with the exception of uh NC State, I think for the most part, we expected those teams to be there. Blue blood, at, the, blue blood at the SEC, blue huh? blood at the SEC. Who's your blue blood at the SEC? Kentucky. So, how long does Kentucky have to remain the blue blood? I, I think they got that for the next 10, 15 years. Uh, Alabama is, is winning like crazy. No, they just happen to win. They ain't winning like crazy. In the SEC? 
Yes, he's the champion. Hey, you laughing? You might be talking about football. You laughing? No, you laughing? Come on. I think we we looking at recency bias over the last three years compared to the last thirty plus years. So that's what that's what a change is. Recently, well, I, I think they still been up there. They just hadn't had the. See, college basketball is one and done. We've seen teams in the NBA Finals lose the first game that really should have won. So, to me, I don't define that team by one loss. I look at everything overall. And for the most part, I just think in Kentucky, it's a bunch of spoiled, entitled people in basketball. Remind me of a group of people in football. I'm not going to say Alabama because I'll be snitching. Right? But you, you're just expecting to be somewhere every year, and you're going to have those <laughs> Uh, all right, Georgetown. They they still blue blood. I don't UCLA. know. If they ever were, I don't think they ever were blue blood. UCLA. Yes. Why? You gotta think. During the time when Lonzo Ball was there, it was still that that hype machine. They just kind of fell off a little bit. We'll we'll, we'll discuss that. That 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 just. Was... Well, let me pose this to you, uh, blue blood Gino. Oh, no, I'm, I'm – no, man. All right. I remember okay, in uh, – from Alabama is the blue blood for football. I'm not going to argue that, all right? Well, you said the blue blood? Like, no. Yeah, they are the blue blood. The one, I'm not – they're they, they, they the top. They're the supreme. That's why I hate them. What you drinking on over there, man? But <laughs> – Right? Anyway, Chris, come on. I see you got them in your from background. From 1999 to 07 – through all five coaches y'all had, including the one that got caught at the strip club, right? Y'all were losing. Allegedly. So just because y'all went through that Allegedly. bad eight-year span, that, that didn't the define club. the whole legacy of Bama. So you got to think, LSU B, I think they won eight years in a row. Auburn won six years in a row. You had four coach. Y'all was going through a transition, but that didn't take away from the fact that y'all was still the true blue blood because once Saban got there, every recruit you couldn't get, they came back. All right, so, man. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's why I feel like Gamma right now. <laughs> hey, you know, bro. I'm getting cooked. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do my homework. And come, come back. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Clemson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Football. <Is> Marquette <laughs> winning. <laughs> All right. So we are winding down in the NBA season. Um. A lot of the names at the top are names we used to be in at the bottom. Oh, no diddy. No diddy. Uh-huh. But the the, the play-in game, the, the play-in games are uh are shaping up. Uh so who 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 we think gonna gonna make some noise in the play-in games? Shout out to the Atlanta Hawks. Hey, time, hold, 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 time out. Who do anybody up here got NBA teams? Yeah, um, yeah. I, I am Kobe fanatic, so I am Lakers. But my current favorite basketball players play for the Clippers. I'm still in LA, but I'm rooting for the Clippers. So you root for the team that got the winning record? <laughs> no, I've been rooting for the Clippers <laughs> since PG. Westbrook, Kawhi, all of them went over there. Well, they just got there two years ago. I've been rooting for him for two years. I follow Westbrook where, where he's with. Time out. You you mentioned PG. We're going to start right here because this, this this been buzzing all week because the Brandon Miller was the first one I ever heard say it, that PG was his GOAT. But a lot of players are coming out and saying PG 13 is their GOAT. Uh, a lot of 2K People make players on 2K, NBA 2K, starting with the format of PG. Have, you, you, have y'all heard any of that? Yeah. So uh, my, my take is, like, you, you got to remember, we're looking at this from a viewer standpoint. Viewers, we're just saying, we're mad, we're upset, we get emotional. If our team win, our team lose, this player mess around, have a bad game, we let our emotions show. So, you know, in the moment, they suck, they sorry. But as a all-around player, man, P 
PG was a dog at Indiana. Go see that pre-injury PG. Yeah, in in was, in Indy, was, in, in Indiana, man, PG was a dog. So yeah, so I, I get I what they, yeah, I get what they're saying. It's that the template, he's he's the template, and maybe in about 10, 10, 15 years, it's a lot of kids gonna come up and and curry. They're gonna have curry like these are our NBA players now that's saying PG is is where they model their game around. But we see kids now in at the Y trying to shoot from the from the uh half court. So because they can relate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, let, let's just be honest. Can't nobody relate to LeBron. Mm-hmm. Can't nobody relate to LeBron. Can't nobody do what LeBron does. Let's just be big and strong and overpower everybody. Everybody in the NBA ain't ain't built like that. I ain't never seen nobody built like that. Never. It, never. <laughs> he put a million dollars into his body. <laughs> Close, <Junior. laughs> I just want to know what it is for a million but, dollars. But yeah, like so so. People find people they can relate to. Can so ki- kids can relate to Kerr because everybody can learn how to shoot. You can't learn yes, how sir. to be, you can't learn how to be seven feet, 250 pounds, all muscle, unless you get PDs allegedly. Um, so <laughs> hey, hey, all right, because th- this is this is genuine conversation. Cause I this this, this all these things I'm spouting out hadn't been written down, so this is authentic. So such lineup podcast is very authentic. You brought up LeBron. Can we talk about Keyshawn right quick? We we still in the NBA. I want to talk about Keyshawn Johnson. I, I and I want to talk about it too. Y'all need to stop giving everybody mics. <laughs> everybody don't deserve a mic. <laughs> Let them talk about what they know. Put unpredictable up there. You'll get a better show. I'm you trying to hey, show. I'll tune in. All day long. Because guess what? Because guess what? Um, Keisha I, ain't played on. in no NBA. Why he talking on the NBA? Uh, all right. No, no, no that's, that's something. No. Cause I'm, we finna talk about the NBA. And I, and I, what did Keisha I say? I got cut yeah. from Junior High. He said, he, said he, he said he ain't never seen LeBron post somebody. Oh, yes, sir. I did catch that. That went viral. He said he, he never. Said Skip was looking at him. Yeah, he said he never. I, I, I never seen LeBron uh, posterize anybody. He doesn't jump like some. Some he said like, he doesn't jump like Jordan. And he, never he said I seen Clyde Drexler uh, posterize people. I seen he, he started naming anybody. Vladi Diva. I mean, he really, but he just was naming. People. And Skip was sitting. Skip was sitting. Besides, he, 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 he Jason Terry. And some other six foot guy from Chicago. I man, come on, name. man! He got about five. He, po- this year, he bro. did. He did. He did post to Kevin Love. He did post to Jason Terry. That don't count. Uh, he posted another little. I mean, he count. ain't. He hasn't posted anyone that I know of that has just jumped with him. I think but, I seen two poster rides. But now, everybody you, else been six feet and shorter. But see, this is the thing. Like, posterize, we're talking in the aspect of people jumping with somebody. If you got dunked on, you got postered. I don't know. But LeBron has some posters. He has quite a few. And and before you say something else unpredictable, man, you got a phone in front of you, better Google and look at all the posts. I I seen him posterize LeBron. He don't got the Google. I'm pull up at his house and, and play it on his fence. I'm. A, uh, <laughs> I guess. Well, let's let's say this. I'm thinking about posterizing, right? Now a dunk is a dunk because I could go back and think about DeAndre Jordan when he dunked on uh, Knight. He jumped, but I think what made that worse was that he jumped and fell so hard and everything that surrounded it. It made it worse than what it really was. But actually, you're seven feet. I don't know how many people I just seen that LeBron went to the hole. You gonna know because I'm gonna send I'm gonna send him all. I can, all I can name one, phone. and that's when he played that's Memphis, that's and he that's got that's mad that's at him and dunked on Jackson. You gonna you gonna have more LeBron post ride pictures than I had pictures of you when you I, were. I, I just hope they taller than six three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we putting eight. Well, now we putting height height restriction. I, I said that. Yo, <laughs> the, the biggest height if they, if they you, six three and they jump, they deserve it. Yeah. No, they're getting out the way. Yo, Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless was losing his mind while this man was talking, while this man was saying that. 
Skip Bayless was, and he said, "Yes, he has. He's he used a big um uh uh other word. I, I don't know. He was like he reblopplesized. He reblopplesized <laughs> people. Like Skip, when you had Skip defending LeBron, Skip pulled that do rag out, that do rag cape out to, to defend LeBron. You know, man, that man, man, Keyshawn, man, come on." Come on. They should have drawn a text to Keyshawn as soon as they went to commercial. Like it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see because I'm gonna play um then pull up. We're gonna have a move tonight. Man, play it, play he's dunking it. on midgets. No diddy. You know, Jordan played against uh mailmen. He's dunking on people from Walmart. Clutch, who your team? Who your NBA team, Clutch? Uh the Bulls. Okay. Well, okay. That's I like I like that. Uh Jay Will. Pelicans, man, Pelicans. I'm what? thinking about hitting up the game tomorrow. The Pelicans, they just happened. They no, just was born. Hey, Jay Will, 25. I'm 30. 30. Put some respect on I'm off now. 30. <laughs> I have yeah, the Pelicans, man. Y'all don't remember David was CP3 before Anthony Davis. You, t- you, t- you talking about the Charlotte Yeah, that was last week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the Charlotte Hornets. I'm sorry. I'm so oh, excited. People, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just messing with you, man. I already know. I already know. <laughs> it's a lot happening in them 10 years. I'm finna be 40 and he 30. Like, a lot happening. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> I'm predict- that wasn't me. I'm predictable. Who your, who your favorite team, man? Anybody playing LeBron? Thank you. <laughs> uh, Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Oh, oh okay. Now so you, it makes so you a have like LeBron. So that's why you hate LeBron. Okay. You have like LeBron at one time when he was with the Heat. Okay. I just had. Now it's coming out. The enemy of my enemy had to be my friend for that time. <laughs> Nigga, we caught you. The Miami. <laughs> hey. He go leave and they take everything from the Miami Heat like he did it. To my, he went eight straight. You didn't. You didn't have eight All Stars. You should have went went to the NBA Finals eight straight times. Nobody. We don't care about no LeBron. <laughs> Listen, oh, it, it make a lot of sense. I hated LeBron. I hate. I hated LeBron when he was with the Heat. I man, I some of them Facebook posts pop back up and I like. Ugh. But I hated LeBron. But I. I, I am. Uh, I'm a Hawks fan. That's kind of hard. I like I like the Braves, the Hawks, I mean, the Falcons. Your you, your whole childhood is hard. Like Listen, in Atlanta. that was my first game. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> all right. All right. That was my first game. I went to my mom took me. They played in Montgomery. They played the Clippers. I remember uh they had big well with Ducksworth or something. Uh, Kevin Ducksworth. Uh, they yeah, played Kevin the Duckworth, yeah. Yeah, they played the Clippers. I remember I was I was I was, I was young. Uh and uh, you were, were you there? I'm predictable. Did you take me? No, okay. <laughs> uh-uh. I didn't know you did. Okay. Oh yeah. But hey. You, you, hey, I know why you like the Hawks. Why? What happened during 92 and 97 in that? Oh yeah, freak me. Yeah, that's that is hilarious. <laughs> freak us, little son. <laughs> but I, I but I, I I like the Lakers too. I like and then I, in some sports group they call me Mr. Coast to Coast because I I got a team on one coast and the team on the other. I didn't like the Lakers during the Shaq days. I um because everybody liked the Lakers and I felt everybody. like it was too much. No Diddy. It was too much when Shaq was there. Oh, yo, no Diddy. But but when it was Kobe by itself, my mom was a huge Kobe fan. And I and I I started liking the Lakers. And when Kobe, Kobe left, when Kobe retired, I didn't really quit the Lakers. So I'm I am two teams. I would never do that in football. But I mean, because a lot of people like players and quit the teams. They was AI fans, Vic fans. Uh, Shaq fans in Orlando. Uh, it's it's a lot of other people, but they quit them teams like Bulls. Like when you said Chicago Bulls, a lot yeah, of people. That's what I was gonna say. A lot, a lot of people, you know, Jordan. When Jordan left, everybody left the Bulls. Yeah, and she, everybody that left stay where you at because we don't need you back and don't want you back. Yeah, y'all just need Ryman back. But. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, so we we, we PG, baby. Speaking yeah. of Rodman, shout out to Draymond Green. Did y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see baby like Rodman out there? Yeah, right. Shut, I, what's up, man? With that cat, man. Shout out, shout out to my partner, um, Trigger Man Joe. We look hey, forward to this, this what I want about the NBA. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want somebody to go put some hands on this young man? I mean, this man kicking people in the nuts. He Bro, he's punching choking people. people. He's choking people out. Only thing he need now to go to the Pete Diddy part. That's the only thing left. No Diddy, man. I mean, at no what point does we talking I mean, about grown men, and nobody didn't put no hands to my. He need help. I I put it like this, you know. Sometimes you know, you can fight the fake crazy people. You can check the fake crazy people. Draymond ain't got them all. Like he crazy, crazy for real. It, it's hard to fight a crazy person. No, it's not. I don't think Draymond that crazy. I think all that's selective. He, he ain't ran up on the right one yet. Yeah, yeah, it, right. It, it, hey, it's so okay. selective. Go, yeah, it, it's it's selective. Go check. <laughs> go type in on uh Twitter or TikTok or your favorite uh platform. Type in Draymond Green and run our test. Oh, he didn't want no part of that. He didn't want no parts of real. Hey. Thing. Just, saying, just, bro. Hey, 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 just like Ron Artest, he didn't want no parts of real crazy with Ben Wallace. That man chose to jump over the commentator booth and go up into the stand. Whoa, whoa, man. what? Oh, what? No, whoa, y'all whoa. better go back and look. We don't have, we don't have no go, go hey. back and look. No, Ron no, Artest did not no, want no, no. Ron Artest didn't want no problems with Ben Wallace. That's what started the whole brawl in the mat. Ma- and uh, the whole bra. If, if he didn't want no problem with being wise, he went and fouled him, baby. He just wanted to get his file back. He didn't know it was going to escalate like that. He wanted to get his file back, and his teammates were supposed to break it up. He was on the championship team. He, he was on the championship contender team, and he was listening to his other brain. His, that shoulder finally kicked in, and he was like, hey, go lay down. Go lay it down. Because – you talking about real crazy laying on the score table was crazy enough when you got Ben Wallace when you got anybody from Lowndes County trying to <laughs> trying to fight you and you go lay down on the hey. table. Hey, all of them selective. I go back to last year. Aaron Gordon, light skinned Aaron Gordon, sitting here playing defense on LeBron. LeBron won't choke the man when the man didn't even do nothing. I mean, just I mean, he trying to punk the man, but then when Isaiah Stewart got in his face, he said, "Carmelo, help me out." Somebody, he don't want to do nothing because it's the league. He, he didn't, didn't do you seen Isaiah yeah. Stewart. Isaiah Stewart won't well, do nothing, I'm man. A, okay, I'm you believe you want to. You better not play with John Morant. That's the problem. Go ahead, Clay. I'm going to go a different route with this Draymond Green thing. You know, you, know, you got Rich Paul and, and, and LeBron James who's supposed to be his mentors. You know, I, I think them guys need to, you know, sit him down and, and, and tell him, he, you know, he, he messing up his career. Because you know, I I know he's going to be out of Golden State, and nobody else is probably going to sign him, you know, to a contract, because nobody wants that headache. You know, I, I think Rich Paul and, and LeBron should step in and sit this man down if they care anything about him. Well, clutch. They going to bring him. Go ahead. The NBA contract. They going to bring him. Now, what they will do, because I think sometimes what they want more than money because they have it, they want to still play. So what they will do is trade them, and that team will eat his salary and cut him and ban him from the NBA. That's the – now where you make your money from podcasts, that they, oh, trust me, they did it to Melo. I think that, that he want to cut up – y'all y'all check the flyer. People that are watching, you, you've seen the flyer because you're watching it now. So you've seen the flyer and the picture that's on the flyer. I think he, he he's causing this drama so he can go play with his bestie. LeBron, did he? Cause my mama be like, "Hey, but we don't have my mom on the show." Cause I, I keep mentioning my mom, my mom, and I, I'm gonna let y'all know why I I mention her when we talk basketball. But my mama said he trying to do that so he could go play with LeBron, and I and I kind of honestly believe that. And and LeBron, seeing as he got the manager, I mean the uh the owner. Laying it on, on his on his shoulder, he can, <laughs> he can do whatever. <laughs> do whatever he want to do. He definitely run the team now. <laughs> he can put he can pull that he can definitely pull that off. And I ho- I hope it don't happen. 
But he um I my shout out to my partner uh Trigger Man Joe. He'll be here uh next week and um we can talk about this uh how the, the light skinned man was just was just whoop last uh, whatever night there was that uh that uh Draymond got thrown out. Steph Curry was almost <laughs> in tears. <laughs> dealing with <laughs> dealing, dealing with what he had to deal with. He took his jersey off. He was just like from okay, our resident light skinned guy. <laughs> DJ Hot Yellow. <laughs> yeah, shout out to J. Cole, man. I thought I'd gonna wake up to something this morning. Pause. No diddy. I but thought I'm old, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Alabama guy, different. <laughs> I thought I was gonna wake up to a, a hot track from J. Cole this morning, and that did not happen. Mm-hmm. But uh shout out to Steph Curry, man. He keeps dealing with it. With the things he's having to deal with with Draymond, uh, do y'all think Golden State have a chance if they make the play in to beat one of the top teams in the NBA? Not this year. No. Nah, I, they got too much going to let, on. Yeah, they they need to let what they have go and rebuild. So y'all think OKC and um OKC and Minnesota they they make it out the first round? They they shouldn't have a problem with any other the lower play in teams. Um, I don't know. Suns and Kings in the play in. So I, I think that's going to be a bad matchup for anybody in the top two. Whoever got to play the Kings or the Suns. Yeah, the, th- the Thunder, the Thunder play the Mavericks. So, you know, Ooh. right now, as, as, I mean, if it started today, they'd play the Mavericks. So, yeah. I don't know. Hey, they, they look good. Who, the Mavs? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't think the Thunder going to run over them. Yeah. Um. Then you got then you got the uh, Celtics. They looking to play. They looking to play the Hawks. Um. In the in the in the eighth pick, they looking to play the Hawks. And it was said oh, that, man. huh? The Hawks man, gonna be, gonna be, it's, gonna be it's gonna be the Heat. It, it's gonna be the Heat Sixers or the Bulls, man. The uh, Bulls. Exactly. The Heat yeah. Sixers or the Bulls. D Rose will be coming back. He must got some new knees. <laughs> Yo, y'all, y'all, y'all were finesse, man. With uh, shout out to the Ball family, but yeah, y'all picked up, uh, y'all picked up Ball, and uh, that's that's giving a uh, what's my man Roy Brandon Roy vibe. Uh, that's giving those those vibes. Uh, not being able to play, so I don't know how the Bulls going. Shake back, shake back off that. But I know the Hawks have beat have beat the Celtics uh, about two times in one week. But the Celtics have put a Porzingis on 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 the Hawks star player, and they testing out stuff for the playoffs. Why are you playing the NBA team? So we feel real disrespected as Hawks nation. Yeah, didn't, uh, didn't they Celtics give a thirty point lead or something last night? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, to the yeah. Hawks, to the Hawks, yeah, yeah, but but the Hawks won the game, but the the, the Celtics ended up, the Celtics ended up, uh, the Celtics ended, the Celtics ended up practicing, man, during the game, so disrespectful, <laughs> so disrespectful, random play, trying to test out uh, Przingas and everything, uh, but um. I don't. I don't really see the top teams really going down. Uh, I think maybe. Uh, um, gonna get D uh, aspect on the Clippers. I know he like the Clipper talk, but they they they've been um they've been sliding down. Imploding. Huh? <laughs> imploding. They've been imploding. Uh, yeah, I like that. I might I might copy that. <laughs> I might copy that as a drop. Imploding. I like that. They've imploding. been imploding. But hey, the clip and the Clippers better be careful, bro. Because if they start the day, they got to play the Pelicans, boy. I'm telling you, the Pelicans, Shout boy. I'll be in the building. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Jay Will team for making the most stupidest pick when they picked Zion over. Well, I don't know. But one man, one man. Hey, I don't know though. I'd rather have Zion. At least, at least he getting in shape. Y'all just keep thugging. You rather have Zion than John Moran. Right now. 
Who playing? Who playing right now? Zion on court. Zion. It depends on who he at. He's trash, and you know it. And every time you bring him up, I will let the world know exactly what he is. Hey, it depends on where we at. If we on a basketball court, give me Zion. If we in the streets, give me John. Oh, John. Best shooter in the game. There you go. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say give you Zion and y'all at a, a wing contest. If you was at a wing game contest, give you Zion. Give me him too. <laughs> <laughs> so so Zion went in them both then the court and wing game. No, not on the court, man. No, that was man. I knew, I knew who was the better player. Shout out to New York Knicks, man. They can't, they can't get rid, can't get the uh, draft rid like they did when they got Ewan. But. We um we're gonna tap into we're gonna tap in later on a couple shows about uh how this uh, NBA playoff uh coming up and we got uh sports gambling we're gonna talk about sports gambling with uh with D look like he gambling with his power bill because his phone did <laughs> hey, he, hey, he bet the light bill money on, on, on the parlay last night. <laughs> Everything on NC. Hold on, he back. He back at the bottom. Hold on, back. He back? He must have went next door to his neighbors. Hold on. Hold on. Running that extension cord from house to house. <laughs> hey, maybe it was the wise on his headphones. Drained all his juice. <laughs> I got some extra headphones, man. I'm a to you. Shout out to the new community. We will. We Oh, hey, I got a generator for you. You can start it up next time the power go out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the new community, uh, the guys watching on uh, on Facebook that had a problem with the headphone. Those are the best headphones. Now, he might not say the right thing, but that don't got nothing to do with the headphone. Those are the best things that Apple ever made. And then you should have uh, like red on Friday. Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to go talk about it. Shout out to Mikhail yeah. Pinches. Mikael Bridges just got four steals because our our fantasy basketball uh chat keeps sending me what my players are doing, but I'm not playing this week because I was I lost in the tie and now I'm out the playoffs. But shout out to Jay Will who's uh playing a friend of the show, uh Slide Besta, as as I'm predicting to say. My boy. Slide Besta. Yeah, they playing it out in the in the uh championship. No uh, did it. No did it. What? Yeah. Next year we're gonna we're gonna let one of the um patrons of the show join us in a uh in, in our fantasy basketball. Easy. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> Tell him who you came to see. Easy. <clears throat> People watching, he's not talking about the real easy. He's talking about another easy. <laughs> Shout out to my uh, he's a book. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hey, now when that man pull up on y'all in Bama, I can talk trash. I'm in Mississippi. That man pull up on y'all, don't call me. <laughs> I that man like tall as Kevin Hart. I, mean, I, don't don't know. I never met him. I thought, hey, the way he talked on that polo, I thought bro was like 6'4". I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> man, yo, what are y'all doing? We're not, this is Joe. My bad, my bad. Hey, he called Joe Torres Jeritol. Boy, that thing killed me. <laughs> <laughs> man. Hey, hey you know the funny part. He called them old and they're the same age. Hey man, we have a fifth wall in podcasting. That's me. Our four wall that we block from the audience knowing certain stuff. We are in the fifth wall right now. Hey, yo. No pause, 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 man. Diddy. Sports gambling, baby. We, we, we got a couple minutes left. What you, what you got, D? Man, sports gambling is taking over the world. Is is one thing where it used to be behind the scenes, and it was just rumbles, whispers that games was fixed, or the Vegas called in, and all of those things. It used to be like that. Now, if you got a buddy in the NBA, you can almost be a millionaire tomorrow. Shout out to John Tate Pepper. Shouts out to John Tate Allegedly. Porter. Allegedly. Shouts out to Jonte Porter allegedly telling all his homeboys, "Hey, take the under on me tonight." Man, I need a homeboy in the NBA. <laughs> and and not only did he do it once for them, he did it twice. 
Well, that's that's wild. So, but we, me and you had conversations. No, did um, <laughs> Me and you had. Me and you <laughs> talked. I mean, well, I, I, uh, me and you talked like grown men on the social media about you not believing that the um, NCAA is going to try to shut down prop betting for for single players. Uh, you, y'all, done, they done already gave the players some money. So, <laughs> for the ones that ain't getting paid, <laughs> listen, I know how to make money. But uh, yeah. in the end, what's the difference between them stopping a prop and me just sabotaging my team from winning? What's the difference? It's it's easier to co- to control what I what I'm gonna do. But but you just gonna make make the what's what am I what am I trying to say? You got an NBA player that did it, right? But you're gonna make so would you rather kill a single person or kill the whole team? That's the dilemma the NCAA needs to look at. You Unalive. take away you you take away you take away prop bits as they want to. You just gonna unalive a team because now uh, they made a movie about it. I can't think of the t- I can't think of the name, but it was a point guard. He said he he would tell the bookie, "Hey, this is what y'all need to bet. We're gonna beat them by six, or we're gonna lose by five. Certain things like that." And because he was the point guard, he said he controlled the game because he knew how to get his players in rhythm. And he knew how to take them out of rhythm because he said from the way that I passed the ball or moved the ball or called the plays in certain predicaments or I might turn the ball over right here. He said it's on camera? Yeah, it's a documentary. Oh, he went to jail? Oh, no. Shout out to somebody from our school, our high school that had a little problem in Auburn about that. But we, yeah, but he was innocent. I'm I'm so weak. Yeah, that's our partner. But how's that illegal? How's illegal? That's just like somebody. Like, how? Hold on, bro. How? I'm going to go to a, a car dealership. I'm saying, how? Like, this talking. You police? Is you the FBI? CIA? <laughs> Shout out to right. Black Youngster checking in. Hey, that's like if I go to a car dealership and they, call, they know the car ain't worth nothing, they still sold it to me. Even though they knew that it was gonna last all about five minutes, it's illegal. If they knew, you think they're gonna feel like hey, much? This car is limited. It's illegal, but we're gonna still sell it to you. I mean, it's a lot of <laughs> alleged things in the world. Don't mean that it happened or didn't happen. I don't know, man. Hey, this 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 uh, portion. Shout out to uh, Canon Toyota of Vicksburg, baby. You you might need to go. You might uh, need to go represent Diddy, talking like that. I don't want nothing, no part of Diddy. <laughs> nothing. Pause. Pause. No Diddy. Hey. <laughs> no Diddy. Hey. Anything, any song he made that he was a part of has been deleted. <laughs> now, now, listen, listen. I don't, but you saying take the whole team? Now, I believe. I mean, if if you go if you go, uh, point. Point shit. What's it called? Point shave. Point shave. Oh, shit. I've been yeah. talking point shit. Hey, well, come on the podcast right quick. Point set or point set. Oh, <laughs> inviting somebody, special guest. You better, you better pick them shoes up. <laughs> you better put them shoes in the cone. Listen, um, <laughs> uh, but you gonna point shave, man? They gonna hurt the team regardless. But if you offer me twenty thousand. And my quarterback got on a um, you know, mighty not uh, mighty. What what he say in life? A mighty fine timepiece. My quarterback got a mighty fine timepiece, and you offer me twenty thousand. About yeah, mute that, brother. Would you uh, you offer me? His old lady told him he gotta get off. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you got a mighty fine timepiece. You give me twenty twenty grand. The, the 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 point shade and everybody got money flow. It, it just seemed like everything. Everybody got money, but me. I'm yeah. gonna take that twenty man. Yeah, I money flowing around. around like when Mama when you show up with a new Lexus, ain't nobody gonna you know, ain't nobody gonna know when you when you when you do you know go to Mississippi Toyota and and, and come out with something new. Ain't nobody gonna pay attention because the whole parking lot got it now. 
I don't know. I, I think the NCAA to show that they still matter. Their name ain't even on the video game. We'll get on that this summer. We'll talk. But their name ain't even on the game. But we'll uh to show they still got some kind of play. The NCAA right. might, might try to the name of the game was to win or lose. So if the man made just enough passes to win a game, that's that's all that counts, right? You got people in Vegas that got kids. This man probably be from Tulane Coke. And you talking about he can't make twenty thousand extra. Hey, if my mama had a warrant for twenty thousand, I'm gonna turn it in. But I'm gonna also give her some uh, on the on the lawyer because she gonna get caught eventually. <laughs> yo, so Sam got the wire on right uh, now. Oh, I'm turning everybody in. Shout out to Show Tiny man. Um, you got the news on that DSVN? Uh, so allegedly. You know, we got to say allegedly, last year, the Atlanta Braves played Shohei Otani when he was on the mound to pitch. There was an alleged million-dollar bet that went in that Otani would give up. Well, let me not say Otani. He would earn six runs. Mm. Guess how many? Earned runs Otani gave up before he left the game. Six. 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 So therefore, if he would have gave up five and then you know the next pitcher come in and probably would have sealed the deal and kept it under, that bet would have lost. But to ensure that it happened, he gave up six runs before he exited the game. I mean, at, at that point, it, when you got money like that, you you it, it's just a problem at that point. It, you 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 got some kind of problem if you're doing things like that. Like you know, I don't understand. But I saw him pitching. It's just like uh, it, go ahead. Yeah, it's just like in uh, in 2023, um, the coach for the Jets, Miles Austin, he got suspended. And he wasn't even betting on the NFL. And they suspended him. He out the league now. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Charlie Hustle. But um, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's wild. And then these videos just don't make life easier. Cause I saw that man roll a roll a ball in the dugout and his uh interpreter roll a ball in the dugout and um they were trying to see who is like pitched to the line or something, and it just looked it looked like he really had a problem. Like, but a lot of that come in competition, and, and you know, and Jordan went through the you know the same thing. Uh, DSPN, you got you got any uh best bets for the week? while we get up out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me come on camera. So, best bets. Please take this and understand that. This is not my personal uh, personal bets, as in they're not personal to me, mean anything to me, like my teams or anything like that. I don't bet with my heart. Whenever you're gambling, never bet with your heart. Bet smart. But uh, for a early baseball game, I have the Mets beating the Brewers. Uh, you can take them money line. I think they're probably like minus one eighteen or something like that. Catch it early. What day? But what the, date is this? This is what for day? Saturday. For Saturday, Saturday okay. morning, okay. the Mets will beat the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, we're going college next. Illinois will cover plus eight point five. Illinois will cover plus eight point five. They play Saturday. Six o'clock central, they play UConn. They will cover plus 8.5. And if you want to throw a little extra steam on it, take a money line. See, see if they take the whole whole enchilada. And next, I have a prop bet for tomorrow. Um, take Illinois Shannon over in points. All Those right. are my three for the week. 
I hear you. Hey. Did, did you give your disclaimer? Hey, if this is your last $500 and you bet the whole thing and you lose, <laughs> listen, do not DM me. We bet, sm- we bet smart. We bet for profit. But if you cannot afford it, you should not gamble. Yeah, I bet 20. But, uh, uh, get, I'm going to uh, put 20 at the casino when we get off. I'm going to ride across there real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got any? You got any uh, quote of the week for me? Yeah, yeah, I got some for you. Um, yeah, some sometimes when you think things are falling apart, they may actually be falling into place. Think about that one. I like that one, man. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna steal that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You see it on you gonna see it on my social media tomorrow. I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna use it. I might have to use it with uh with uh unpredictable. <laughs> he was at Joe last week because Joe was Joe uh logged off a little earlier. But um unpredictable logged off. y'all know his girl said he gotta get off. Yeah, oh yeah. He lost power. Mm-hmm. But um appreciate y'all checking in this week. The third week, y'all been amazing in the comments. Subscribe, follow, like, come to the Facebook page where you can you can debate in the Facebook group against these great minds that you hear on this um podcast. And we you know we appreciate it. We're growing. Uh D DS, DSPN it picks it in. You might get them while you can. Cause soon when we see they working, they won't be free. Hey, have a great week. <laughs> yes, sir. Happy Easter. Peace All right, out. fellas. Happy. happy.